So you, you bring up a whole slew of really good points and topics that could probably be discussed for hours on end. One of them being, and I'll start with my favorite, is, well, not my favorite, one of my favorites, is how does this change recruiting for employees for your company, or does it? Um, and what type of individuals are you now looking for? Is certainly they're maybe they're different than in the past, maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know the answer. I'm just putting it out there right now. But it's a hypothetical, interesting question, I think. It, it, it's... I won't even try to tackle it right now, but what I what I will say that it's that you've brought up for me is that being a supervisor has always traditionally been a um, few steps down your career sort of thing, right? Most fields, most fields, people start off as a worker and then a you know team member and then maybe a you know, a little bit of a team leader and they grow into this management capability. But if you're joining a workforce that has agents in it and you're a human, you might find supervisory responsibility something you need to do on day one. So that has a ripple effect on how we train people, how we educate people, what sorts of skills are taught in universities, um, et cetera. Like the, it's a big change. And I'll actually take a totally off the reservation type of a question. People treat systems, and this is well known actually, um, people will interact, interact on social media and with systems very different than they will interact with a person in person. And, <laughs> keyboard courage. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. A lot of keyboard courage. And I think a lot of us noticed that. I noticed it during COVID, like when people started jobs during COVID, the relationship with your fellow employees was tended to be very superficial. It wasn't as deep. It's hard to get, I'm sorry, it's hard to get that deeper relationship. Now you have somebody that's coming out of college for the first time, imagine managing digital labor, which is not a real person, and they're going to maybe treat these things, and I hate to say, you know, applying human-like thoughts and principles to a piece of software. But, you know what I'm saying, it doesn't take much. Of, if you learn to manage when you're managing digital labor, and if things go sideways and you treat it like, I don't know, you whatever you got to do, you scream and curse. And you know, if you transition to managing real people, you haven't really learned the skills to manage people. Oh, that's an so interesting, interesting point. Yeah. yeah. It's just, you know, I think there's a lot of psychology that goes into this and just how it's fundamentally changing just the very nature of work. And agents, I think, take it a step further. Mm -hmm.